You know that object memory connection that happens in your brain when something you see reminds you of something you did? Oftentimes it brings back joyous memories or a sense of comfort or longing, or in this case, pain. When I see those plastic excuses for a toilet, I am constantly reminded of a particular incident while I was out with my friend Dustin, Paul, and his girlfriend Jamie. It was late, it was cold, and I had to pee. I vividly remember, as I shut the hard plastic door, I double-checked the plastic latch to ensure the occupied lettering announced my presence and quickly tended to the grounds for me being inside this potentially lethal biohazard condo. After a rather uneasy moment or two, I turned to exit the filth trap, flipped up the latch, and pushed on the door standing between me and freedom. It wouldn't budge. It took me less than a second to deduct the reason for the resistance. Dustin. A practical joker at heart, I had no doubts that the opposition I had encountered was my friend playing on my uneasiness and holding me captive a bit longer in the waste capsule. Not to be outdone, I prepared myself for escape. I stepped back, gathered my momentum, and with a swift kick, gave that plastic excuse for a door all I had in an effort to not only release the exit, but to hopefully remove Dustin from his feet. As I struck it in anticipation of victory swirled in my head, but when I my foot made contact, I immediately could tell the obstruction had moved. The door that Porta John took off at a speed rivaling those of NASCAR, and as it flung open, it stopped abruptly and was met with a... <coughs> Poor Jamie was collateral damage. An innocent bystander caught in the fallout of a potty prank gone wrong. The victim of a man desperate to break out of his soiled prison. The price of freedom. <laughs>